when a charged particle enters a magnetic field not making a right angle to it then what will happen there is a magnetic field and now i am making this magnetic field along the x axis this is direction of the magnetic field b a charged particle enters making certain angle with it not at right angle so if this is right angle direction a charged particle is entering in this direction with a velocity v it has got charge q and it enters in this direction okay let us say this has a direction which is making angle theta with b so there is a angle theta between v and b this is velocity vector v now what will happen we know that if a charge is moving along magnetic field b there will be no effect on that see if this is magnetic field b this is velocity of the charge velocity of the charge then angle between them is zero and force on it will be q v b sin zero which is equal to zero so there will be no force acting on it then how the force will act if b is in this direction velocity is in this direction and there is a angle of 90 degree between the two then force will be q v b sin 90 sin 90 is maximum value 1 and force will be q v b so the perpendicular velocity applies a force the parallel velocity along the b the force applied is zero so this velocity what it will do answer is we will make two components of this velocity we will resolve it this one component if i say this is vector v then this component is v cos theta and this component is v sin theta now v cos theta is along b there is no magnetic force acting on it there is no other force acting on it and this will keep on moving v cos theta in this direction okay now what about this v sin theta now v sin theta is perpendicular to magnetic field b therefore a force will be acting on it so force is how much force is q into v b and v sin theta so this is the force acting on it on this component now because this component is perpendicular to b what will be its fate what will be the shape of motion answer it will make a circular motion and circling the magnetic field and circling the magnetic field now here is the magnetic field this so when this charge goes here it will encircle it and come like this this circle it will make so charged particle is only one here this charged particles because of this component of velocity will make a circle this way because of this component it will keep on moving so this one particle whether it will make a circle or whether it will move in a straight line answer is it has to do both the actions move in a circle and move in a straight line how it can do both the actions at the same time because there is only one particle the answer is it will do both the actions simultaneously see it will go in a helical path this way this way what it is doing it is making circles how it is moving it is moving in this direction so it is having both the velocities at the same time v sin theta v cos theta because of v sin theta 
it makes circle of the magnetic field this way and because of v cos theta it keeps on moving in straight direction so what is this motion known as this is shape of a helix and this is known as a helical motion so when a charged particle enters a magnetic field making certain angle theta then it does not make a plane circle it makes a helix because of this one component it makes a helix which is a combination of circular as well as linear motion so this is helical motion in this helix there are few things asked from us that uh, what should be the pitch where is the pitch this to this this distance is known as pitch of helix this we are supposed to find out now how can we find it out answer is this has a velocity in this direction v cos theta if we find out the time from this point to this point time from this point to this point so this distance x will be equal to velocity into time we know the velocity v cos theta we have to find out time how do you find out the time period in the previous question you had a formula if you don't remember time formula then please see it uh, the time formula you found was 2 pi m upon qb this was the time formula for any circular motion where what is this strength okay in this we can again find it out what is the fundamental equation here centripetal force is how much centripetal force which is mv square upon r this is equal to q v d and here which v is active answer v sin theta this v sin theta because sin theta is involved it is this way so 1 v sin theta is cancelled and we get 1 v sin theta here q v is equal to m v upon r so v is equal to q v r q v r upon m and this will come here sin theta v is equal to r omega that r is cancelled so omega omega is what 2 pi upon t and this 2 pi upon t is equal to q b upon m sin theta so t is equal to t is equal to 2 pi m sin theta upon q b this is the expression for time period of one circle now when it completes one circle it is also moving in this direction with speed v cos theta so distance x that is pitch that is that horizontal distance or along the b distance traveled in one circle so this pitch x is equal to velocity v cos theta multiplied by time 2 pi m sin theta upon q b so this x is equal to here 2 pi 2 into sin theta cos theta is sin 2 theta so this is pi v pi v 2 sin theta cos theta ok let us insert m also this is value of x this is the value of pitch you get here velocity into time period if there is any correction you can make it always ok so remember this is how we can find the pitch in a helical motion 
So, two things you have to remember. Number one, if it does not, if the charge does not enter a magnetic field at right angle, but enters making an angle theta, then what will be its fate? Answer, it will make a helical motion, which is a combination of circle as well as linear motion. Number two, what will be the time period of that helical motion? The time period of one circle is given by this expression. What is pitch of this helical motion? Answer, this is pitch of this helical motion. So this is how we can calculate the pitch in a helical motion. So there are other types of motion. We will do that in the next lecture.